Welcome back everyone to the channel. Today we're going to dive into the Defenders Showcase. Let's go. Alright, first up is Daredevil. Now he is a member of the Avengers. This is part of my Avengers Showcase series, I guess you could call it. So Daredevil is an Avengers member and I love this figure. I recently redid him just to give him more of a comic book feel. I did add some inspiration from the Netflix suit. I really wanted that comic book feeling where it's one suit with some armored padding with the Daredevil D's on the chest. The head is a Batman head from 2012 and the helmet is from Input Bricks, same place as Moon Knight. However, that's not the only Daredevil suit I've made. This one is strictly based off the Netflix suit obviously with the Daredevil logo on the chest. He is using the same head and helmet, but this figure I've had for a few years and I still love having it in my collection. Next up is Jessica Jones, AKA Power Woman, Jewel, Nitrous, whichever. Now, this figure took heavy inspiration from the Netflix series, which to be honest, that show was incredible. I hope she comes back in the MCU. The figure is a little cut and dry, a simple paint job with the shirt and legs. The head is from the CMF Captain Carter figure. I don't know why, but it sort of matches her likeness. And the jacket, I love it. Next up is Mayor Luke Cage. This is a simple figure. The face is fully hand painted by me and so was the torso, just a simple yellow t-shirt design. However, he is using extended legs, custom made by me. I don't remember where I got the technique from. I'm probably going to redo the legs just because they're a bit old, but he is taller than the average minifigure, which matches perfectly with his now wife, Jessica Jones. The Immortal Iron Fist. Now, I'm not a huge Iron Fist fan, I hated the show like everyone else, but there is something about his suit that I wanted to tackle. I am making a new version as of recording this video. And I still love the overall design of what I've done. I'm just refreshing it just to update the design a little. With the armbands, I still love that design for him. I'm probably going to keep those, and I can't wait to show off the new figure. Misty Knight is one of the more simpler figures in this showcase. The torso is just painted red, but the arm, I had to keep the golden arm, the mechanical arm, and just a simple back paint job. However, the hair, I need to get another one because she kind of shares it with Scarlet Scarab. Overall, I'm still pleased with this figure as another street level hero. Colleen Wing is another simple paint job. The face is fully hand painted by me to try and match the actor's likeness from the series. However, the rest of the figure is just like the tracksuit. I might go back and redo it uh, just to see if I can do something special, but for right now, it's a good figure to have in my collection. Now, Jessica Drew Spire Woman. To be honest, I threw her in here because I forgot to add her in the last showcase. But this figure is based off the classic outfit, no real special modification, except for the face. At the moment, I can't decide between white eyes or yellow. So for right now, this is how she looks. And I figured I should show her off in the video before I forget. Now for a character nobody knows, Demolition Man. Little backstory, he got his abilities from the Power Broker. and. Kind of became a superhero boxer, but he is a one-off figure. That's why the back's not done. However, I'm still pleased with the vest. All right, let's throw in some villains. We got Wilson Fisk Kingpin. This was my custom, but then I found a better one. And this figure works so much better scale-wise, character-wise in my collection. I'm probably going to get rid of my old figure, to be honest, but I will keep the head on this figure. I hope to get more body pieces like this for other characters, maybe A-Bomb, or there's just so many possibilities with this sort of figure. 
Now, Bullseye, the body is completely just a knockoff. However, the face is reminiscent of the leak set photos of Daredevil Born Again. And I kind of like that design. I'm seeing how it turns out. But for right now, this is my Bullseye. Now, Kilgrave. To be honest, this figure is going to be completely trashed. I'm going to completely redo him. However, I figured I should show him off in this video because, well, Jessica Jones. And I might keep the face. I will keep the overall design. I'm just going to completely trash him, though. Now, Flag Smasher. To be honest, I almost completely ignored the comics except for the mask. I took his belt design and mashed it with the MCU design to put the world map on his face. But the rest of the armor is kind of generic, I'll admit, but I'm pretty proud of it. Now for some deep cuts. This is Jester. From what I've read, he is a TV show host who kind of went crazy. He's almost like Marvel's Joker to a degree, and there's something about his design that I just really enjoyed. I don't have a Jester hat at my disposal at the moment, but I think I captured that crazy look for his face pretty well. Now for Plant Man, a little simplistic in design, but it's a good villain to throw in for crowd shots. And I don't know, there's just something about Plant Man as a character that is pretty appealing. He is kind of like Marvel's Poison Ivy, but there's just something mysterious about him. All right, for Blacko, I just took a knockoff figure from, I think, Lego Batman and painted a new mask and made a really good-looking comic book villain, to be honest. Now for Marvel's Scarecrow. I know just about nothing about him, to be honest. However, I think he just looks incredible and terrifying. I have vague memories of him from the Ghost Rider video game, and I think that's what gave me inspiration to make this figure. But I'm very happy with all the stitching and wires on his legs. It's, oh, and that smile, I, I love this figure. All right, everyone, that'll do it for this video, showcasing the Defenders and Street Level characters. I hope you're enjoying the Custom LEGO Avengers minifigure showcase series. I will try to keep them going as best to my ability as I can. However, recently I've been a bit busy. I am getting ready for the Edmonton Expo. I am leaving tomorrow as of recording this video. So three days of comics, toys, celebrities, and cosplay, count me in. But until the next video, I'm not sure when it'll be, but hopefully soon. Like, comment, subscribe, no pressure. But until then, have a good day.